Next, we're gonna form a stream bed. I have a cup with a small hole poked in the bottom um, and I'm taping it to the container. You still need to hold on to it. However, I'm gonna add the same amount of water as when we rained. This will be a milliliter, uh, one liter. a nice current moving all the debris around. Now that we've created our stream bed, you can have the students use string to measure the length of their river or stream. We had a few different variations, but I would pick one, cut the string and measure it. Again, every student, every group's stream will be a little bit different. I want to point out some of the things that we saw. There was a mudslide over here in this area. Um, we had two different flows going for a while. We had it coming down here. You can kind of see the delta formation over here as well and that's showing up quite well now. Um, so there was meandering, so lots of meanders coming off. And then at one point we had an island formed here in the middle when the stream was coming down and splitting and going on either sides. So you can see um, a few different vocabulary to bring in and different things for your students to look at. And again everyone's stream will be a little bit different since their composition could be um, variable.